Yo guys, what's up? It's Dave, the Oops, there's Gancher here. So George Hortz, a hacker made famous by his PS3 and iOS jailbreaks, has managed to root the Ryzen Galaxy S5. Now, this is cool and all, but why should you care? Because you know, not everyone has a Ryzen Galaxy S5. Well, here's the thing. He used an exploit that was found in all Linux kernels that were built prior to June 3rd. And as you know, Android runs off a modified Linux kernel. So in theory, not only does this app root the Ryzen Galaxy S5, but any Android device prior to that. Now hear me out, there is a 50-50 chance that this will work on your device. People have reported success with the Ryzen Galaxy S5, other Galaxy S5 variants, as well as the Galaxy Note 3, Motorola Razr M, Nexus 5, and a few more devices. However, if you have a recent Motorola or HTC device with a protected system partition, then this will not work for you. So guys, I'm gonna demonstrate for you how to root your phone using the tile root method on the LG Nexus 5. Let's get to it. All right guys, so right now I am here with a stock unrooted version of Android 4.4.3. Now, for those of you trying this on your device, there are a couple of things that you wanna check out for before you try rooting it. So first, on your device, we wanna check out the kernel build date. So, go into your settings, about phone, and in the about phone menu, within the settings, you should see the kernel version. Now check the build date. If it's before June 3rd, like right here, March 17th, then you are a-okay to try this root method. Okay, so now let's open up Chrome and go to tileroot.com. I already have it loaded. Now this is a site where you're going to get the application that will root your device. So just click on this little um, Lambda sign. It's going to ask if you want to download APK. Select OK. And as you see, the application has downloaded and let's install it. Tap to install. Now when you install it, you're going to get a warning that this app may harm your device. And that's just because it's tempting to root your device. Rooting is not the safest thing in Google's eyes, but just go along with it anyway. So tap and install. Alright, now let's open it up. Once inside the application, all you need to do is hit the make it rain button and it will root your device. Let's check it out. So it's saying in 15 seconds, our device will reboot and we should be rooted. So let's see what's going to happen. Okay, we just got rebooted. Now to check to see if we actually have root. Let's go in the Play Store and download an app called Root Checker. And here we go, Root Checker. Let's do this and download and install it. Now this app is going to check to see if we actually have super user permission. Let's open it up. And agree. Okay. Verify root. And it says congratulations, this device has root access. So now that we verify that we have root, a good thing to do would actually go to the Play Store and download an app like Super User. Let's do that, Super User. Download Super User or um, uh, Super SU, whatever you prefer, just so you can have actually a uh, administrative control over what apps get Super User permissions and uh, stuff like that. But so guys, this has been just a quick look on how to root your Android device using a tile root method. This is extremely easy to do. It's a one-click method. It worked perfectly for Nexus 5. Like I said, your mileage may vary. All right, guys. So as you saw, the method was extremely easy to use. Now, once again, this is not guaranteed to work on your device. It's a 50-50 chance, so definitely try it out and leave a comment down below if it works. And a huge shout out goes out to George Hortz for making this possible, and I'm sure he would appreciate donations. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another guys and video. Thanks.